Black men in the United States suffer worse health than any other racial group in America. Black men also have the lowest life expectancy and the highest death rate from specific causes compared to both men and women of other racial and ethnic groups. Yet many of the causes of death are avoidable and preventable if detected and treated early. In this video, I'm going to share with you what men can learn from the untimely death of Chaswick Bozeman. I have, a, I have a greater responsibility than you can possibly pass. You don't want the truth. You have that luxury. Hello guys, Dr. B here, and thank you for joining me for a special topic and sensitive matter today here on Truth Time, where we seek to bring you truth from a biblical and conscious perspective to help you grow in God and apply his word to the world around you. To everyone watching today, welcome to the channel and a special thank you to all the men watching in support. So let's get into it. What men can learn from the untimely death of Chadwick Bozeman. First, let's separate the man from the myth. Yes, I said myth, because Black Panther is not dead. He lives on because Hollywood will ensure he does and they will get someone else to play that role. Trust me. But the man, Chaswick Bozeman, is dead. Dead from a disease that could have been corrected if it was caught and mitigated in time. According to CDC vital statistics, next to heart disease, which still remains the number one killer among black men, cancer is the second leading cause of death in the United States among black men. Let me share with you just a few statistics, just for perspective purposes. Heart disease, over 23% of black males die yearly. Cancer, number two, over 20% of black males die yearly. The number three killer is unintentional injuries. Number four is homicide. Number five is stroke. Number six, diabetes. Number seven, chronic lower respiratory diseases. Number eight, kidney disease. Number nine, septicemia. And number 10, hypertension. Now, many of you may be familiar with the actor, Chaswick Bowman, who was diagnosed with colon cancer and he passed away on Friday, August the 28th, praying for him and his family. Bozeman had never spoken publicly about his diagnosis. However, I can remember earlier this year, many of us expressed concern when we saw pictures surface on the internet with his drastic weight loss. I don't know why, but I always had a feeling that there was something behind his resilient smile. There still seemed to be some indescribable sadness in his eyes, maybe because he was carrying such a heavy weight from this diagnosis for so many years. What a man. And I think that's what we saw, the strength of a man. He never mentioned his diagnosis, even though he played leading black roles such as Marshall, James Brown, Jackie Robinson, in addition to the Black Panther. So maybe that is why so many believe he's a black king. But I don't want us to get caught up in, as I said, the myth. I'm talking about the man who was suffering from a preventable disease, but yet he suffered in silence. According to the data, about 140,000 black men every year are diagnosed with colon cancer, and every year 50,000 of those same black men die from this deadly disease. You may not be aware of this, but the very next day, Saturday, former Portland Trailblazer star Clifford Robinson also died at age 53, who had a stroke two and a half years earlier. I say this because stroke is the number five cause of death among black men. And being a stroke survivor, I know a little bit about that cause very well. Black men are not only at greater risk for heart disease, stroke, and colon cancer, they also have less chance of survival. This is because by the time they are diagnosed, the cancer is already in the advanced stage, which makes them more likely to die from it. But what you may not know is that you may not have to let colon cancer or any of the other causes kill you. If I can, I'd like to offer just a little deeper insight into why I think colon cancer deaths happen. Colon cancer is a development of polyps in the colon. Where some are benign, there's others who are malignant. But it can be treated if detected in the early stages. The detection is usually done through a colonoscopy, which involves inserting a tiny camera through the rectum. I know this sounds painful, but you're usually under anesthesia when this happens. 
And I can go on and on about all the risks, the challenges, the barriers, et cetera, with healthcare or the lack thereof among blacks. But I wanna to get to the heart of the matter quickly today. One of the major factors of black men dying from colon cancer or many of the other diseases is a lack of screening. Despite the huge risk, only a fraction of black men are likely to get tested or screened for cancer. If you're 40 and above, and if I ask you right now if you've ever had a colonoscopy, yet what would your answer be? Many of you will probably say, nope, never had it. Ain't trying to let nobody go up there and do that. Bozeman's death at age 43 made him two years younger than 45, the age at which the American Cancer Society recommends black men start getting screened for colon cancer. However, with all the bad foods, fatty diets, meat products that are consumed by black men, you can't wait that long to be tested. A majority of black males often refuse to undergo a colonoscopy because of poor knowledge and a lack of awareness about colon cancer that keep black men from early screening and detection, a move that could possibly save your life. Early detection is key, and according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, Though colon cancer may not display any symptoms at all, which is why experts stress the importance of early screening, because symptoms may include blood in your stool, stomach pain, aches or cramps that don't go away, and unexplained weight loss. But not paying attention to your body and not taking care of your body, your life can really end sooner than you want it to. Remember, tomorrow is not promised to any one of us. So take care of the one life you have today. So my brothers, please schedule your screening today. Make an appointment with your doctor despite your age, because if you're a black man, 40 years and older, especially in poor at risk health, your doctor will test you. I recommend that if you're 35 and you're black, you need to get tested and tested right away. Brothers, I want you to know that you don't have to suffer in silence and go through health issues in fear or embarrassment. We need to educate one another concerning these oftentimes silent killers and be there for one another if diagnosed with any of the causes I mentioned. If you find yourself in the midst of cancer or other health malady today, ask for help and support from your community and let them be there for you. Don't suffer alone or in silence. There is hope, and death does not have to be your early end. Women, if you've got a man in your life that you love and you care for, encourage him to get screened and tested today, not just for colon cancer, but for heart disease, diabetes, early signs of stroke. Encourage them to go in, visit a doctor, get tested, get screened. Their life may depend upon it. I hope this video was helpful to you and that you're going to share it with every man in your life. Remember to subscribe to the channel because this month I am dedicating all of September to men, certain subjects and subject matter that are only pertinent to men. And I don't want you to miss any of them. Leave me a comment down below or a question or your thoughts about this video or any you may want to see this month to address something that may be of concern to you. I know sometimes it's easier to hear someone else talk about it than you mentioning it. And I don't mind bringing up the subject and have a discussion about it. Check out these next videos for more truth. And I wanna thank you for watching today. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep walking in truth. Shalom.